Today I'm taking apart the Jabe UD1200 soldering station, just to see what's inside it really. Um, there probably won't be an awful lot, bloody great big transformer, screen obviously, a um, couple of MOSFETs to um, switch the tip on and off, and uh, a microcontroller, but nevertheless it's always interesting taking these things apart, so let's see what's inside it. Now if we just flip it over, we can see four screws on the bottom here, and they're quite, quite chunky old screws, so let's take them out. Uh, we've got another one kind of deep recessed in here. Like I say, this thing's um really well constructed. You know, it doesn't feel cheap and nasty. It doesn't feel like one of the kind of the yihua or whatever they're called um, style of soldering stations. It actually feels really well built. So let's get it apart. And have a look. I'm quite interested in taking it apart so I can see the um, see what sort of screen it uses because I'd like to invert that. But I'm not going to do that in this video, I don't think. But I'd like to invert it so that it's um, not black on white any anymore. I just don't really like it. I don't think it's a very nice quality screen anyway. Um, and it'd just be nice to have it inverted like that. So I think that should be it. Oh, hello. What have we got here then? Okay, so let's have a look at this. Here we have a nice big lumpy uh, transformer. Yeah, that is a that is a big ass transformer, it has to be said. And what's interesting about these is that they have this fan down here, and I'm not actually quite sure why they have it because the transformer shouldn't really need a fan. And you know, over on the other board, which I'll show you in a minute. There's no heat sinks or anything like that. So, I don't know, maybe it's just, you know, they want to just keep the the thing a little bit cooler during the longer running periods or something like that. But it's, yeah, it's a bit odd that. And the fan's actually quite noisy as well. Let's move over to uh, the other bit, shall we? And there's not really an awful lot to this board. We have the microprocessor down here, which is Netmail STM32F103. You've got a couple of uh, switching MOSFETs here. This is where the display uh, connects onto. Uh, we've got some uh, caps here. Uh, buzzer here, which somebody's uh, left that thing on. Uh, that's what you have on for when they get uh, flow sold and you don't want that crap to go inside them. Over here, we have the connection for the earth. That is the connection for the transformer. Got a nice little fuse just kind of like bodged on there, but that's yeah, that's fine. We have some op amps as well, obviously, to amplify the um, the resistance coming from the um, temperature probe inside the tip. And this over here, I'm not sure what that is, but it kind of looks like a an opto isolator of some sort. Uh, we might zoom down onto that and just have a closer look at it. And that is actually a an isolation amplifier, which according to the data sheet, um, was designed for current sensing and ele electronic motor drives. In a typical implementation, motor currents flow through an external resistor and the resulting analog voltage drop is sensed by the chip. A differential output voltage is created on the other side of the optical isolation barrier. Hmm, okay, well, yes. Um, never seen one of those before. Never even heard of one of those before, but it's in there. Now I'm going to take this PCB out because I want to get to the screen because I want to see what, what type of screen it is. Because if, if I break it, messing about with its, um, with its polarizer to invert it, then I'm going to need to be able to get another one. Let's take out this main PCB.
Like I'm still very pleasantly surprised at how well this thing's built. I mean, obviously it's not, it doesn't feel the same sort of quality as an actual JBC, but then you're paying um, 200 pounds odd less for it. But in terms of how it works, absolutely amazing. So all you're getting is hand cam in that. There's another one over there, right? Just hiding in there. Okay. Oh, wow. Mm, that looks like a very standard display. Well, I'm pretty sure I can invert that. That looks like the one in my um, my transistor tester. Let's have a look at this then. Well, again, sod all on that side, apart from some um, contacts for the rubber buttons and the display. That looks really standard. So this is the board out the iron, and um, yeah, it's a really nice board. I mean, the quality seems really good. Um, the components, I'm like, hey, the MOSFETs are a bit, you know, Chinese, but we'd kind of expect that. And there's really very little to it. All the, all the grunt work has been done by the processor and the MOSFETs. Let's have a look at this display, though. I mean, that standard, um, I think they call that chip on glass, don't they? Can I get that polarizer off without damaging it? Could be interesting. I don't think that's the job for this video. But um, yes, what I want to do is take that, take that polarizer off and then put a new one on, but kind of rotate it so that it inverts the display. That's going to be my next job. I think that will look a lot nicer. Um, be nice to control the contrast on it as well. I'm sure there's a way, but I'm not absolutely sure what that is. Um, but for the moment, yeah, that's it. Kind of torn apart, taken down. Still highly re recommend one of these. I mean, you know, once you've kind of turned the output down to something halfway sensible, like about 70 watts, and as long as you don't plug the two 10 series hand pieces into it, this thing is bloody amazing value for money. I still thoroughly recommend it. Uh, I was told by somebody in the comments for one of my videos that they've actually done a version of this with um, English menus. So um, that would be really interesting to see. So that's my teardown done. Um, I'm going to now attack this display and see if I can get it inverted. Thank you for watching this video. If there's any questions, please feel free to leave them in the comments. And um, yeah, thumbs up and subscribe. Thank you very much. Cheers. Bye.